Welcome back, everyone, to another Spooky Saturday video. I am your narrator, Paranormal Poet, and a happy October to you all. We have lots of spooky stories ahead and lots of chills to be had, so let's not waste any more time. Hold your loved ones tight, your flashlights tighter, as we prepare to be spooked. Let me ask you something. What scares you most? Now that question has many answers. To make things interesting, comment down below what yours is. Anyway, for a lot of people, it's the dark. But now that's a little misleading, isn't it? See, we're not afraid of the dark. We're afraid of what lurks in it. The eyes you feel when surrounded in darkness may belong to animals. This is common sense. But other times, it's a cryptid. Tonight you are going to hear three cryptid stories that gave me chills. Put the little ones to bed and prepare to be scared. Story 1 Hello, paranormal poet. My name is Ella, and this experience has me shook to my core. What's worse, it wasn't just me who felt that way. My cousin was with me too. This all happened in July 2022. I live in Canada, and I've grown accustomed to the tall, looming trees since our property was rural. In a beautiful two-story house, the day was filled with laughter and a wonderful time with parents tending to their garden and me just exploring the yard with the cousins as they were there for a standard visit. With them, sometimes staying over and other times just a day visit. On this particular day, we were just in my room watching YouTube videos together. While we were watching, we somehow got on the topic of a Canadian legend. And if you feel uncomfortable with the name, that's how much power is with it. It starts with the letter W. And if you live in Canada, you already know exactly what this is. What's worse, we live directly in Algonquin territory. My cousin wasn't much of a believer in it. She always thought it was a way to scare children to keep them safe from the dangers of the forest. She was right. There was something to fear. This is where things get terrifying. The sun already had gone down and it was eerily dark outside. While we were discussing out loud the existence of the Wendigo, I turned to the window as I heard the sound of something scratching at it from outside. My heart began racing as the sound got more pronounced. My cousin did admit this had her startled, but the real fear wouldn't come till after what had happened next. We went silent for a few seconds, and we heard no more scratching. Instead, we heard this deep growling. Now we were petrified. Mainly me. It was her that got me to calm down afterwards. The next morning, when they were packing up their belongings to head back home, while outside where the scratching had occurred, my cousin covered her mouth in shock as she saw deep claw marks on the underside of the window, exactly where we heard it. That event changed her stance on the supernatural. Story 2 Hello, paranormal poet. My name is JD, and to start, I've never been a believer in legends, folklore. I always thought that was just a way to scare us into submission, to poke fun at the vulnerable ones. But this day will change that stance. The year was 2022, and I have lived in Alberta, Canada for all my life. Where I live is incredibly rural, beautiful property, and all was seemingly a normal November day. I wasn't one to go out and party hard like most teens my age. Instead, I took an interest in playing PC games. So when my mom told me that she'd be gone for a few hours and told me not to go anywhere or to open the door to anyone, I was excited. Cause I could play as long as I wanted. This is where it began to escalate drastically. Not for the better either. 
It had gotten dark out, probably at 11 p.m., and I was getting weary. <sighs> After a gaming session with friends, I decided to take a break and get myself a snack from the kitchen. When I went downstairs to get something to eat, I heard the door begin knocking. This startled me a little bit. Curious, I walked to the door to hear something confusing. My brother's voice behind the door asking me to open the door for him. This wouldn't make sense. He lives in New Brunswick, a long hour's drive away from me. There's no reason for him to make the drive unless it was an emergency. That's when his voice shifted to a long guttural growl that sounded like it came from a creature. I proceeded to hit the door in frustration. I slowly backed up and then bolted upstairs scared out of my mind. I messaged my brother the next morning and asked him flat out, what were you doing at my door yesterday? He responded, I've been here in my home the whole day and asked what the hell I was talking about. This didn't settle well with me because that was his genuine voice. Was it a skinwalker? I'm starting to lean towards yes mainly for that growl and how it mimicked my brother. That night was my scariest encounter with the paranormal. I am now a believer. Story three. Hello, paranormal poet. This story is very sensitive to share, and I knew I had to get it out to you immediately. For starters, I am a retired combat veteran, and for the sake of privacy, my name is Dave. This experience happened in northern Kandahar, Afghanistan. The date, May 13th, 2013. The mission, HVT assassination. The mission would begin and end with my squadron and another team of men called Bravo 5 who were assigned to us. We got the go-ahead and peeled out to the alleged location of the target. A high-value Taliban commander was out there in our AO and was allegedly operating out of the known caves in the area. So our men made their way on foot, weapons at the ready. The time was 2 a.m., so everyone had their IRs and NVGs on. Keep in mind, everything was fully charged. This is where things got spooky. As we made progress to the caves, suddenly, without warning, our gear started receiving interference. They looked like dark shadows, and now this had everyone alert. These shadows moved quickly, and then... <gasps> our optics lost all power. Everyone began kneeling, rifles raised, thinking this could be a potential firefight. That's when I saw it. In the distance, on a tiny hill, 30 yards out, I saw a figure standing tall with red eyes. The height was somewhere between 8 to 10 feet tall. As if that wasn't terrifying enough, more of these creatures showed up. This was corroborated by all the guys that were there on the ground with me at the time. They all saw them too. Then, in a split second, the creatures crested the hill and disappeared. The anxiety stayed with all of us. It stays with me still. What's worse, later we found out that the area we were advancing towards was the complete wrong area. Even though on GPS it said we were 15 clicks east of the location, something had lured us there. Was it those creatures? Possibly. I try my best to forget about that mission, but those eyes have other plans. Of all the moments I faced while out there, this one was truly memorable. If you enjoyed this video and you are new here, definitely please hit that subscribe button as we do this every Saturday. I truly appreciate you all for being here. See you next Saturday.